Okay, so we moved to a new facility here. Uh, same town and everything. We're still in Fallon. We just moved to a different barn. And it's a, it, it's a barn that was set up really good. It's, it's built really well. It's got a cool design to it. Uh, but there hasn't been any horses in it for a number of years now. So everything's, we got weeds growing and stuff that we got to take care of. Uh, so our original intention was to start at zero and show what it, exactly what it was we were moving into, but that um, didn't work out because I just went ahead and started moving in. So we'll start out in the saddle house. I'll show you some of the things we got going on there and, and we'll show some other parts of it probably and, and uh, kind of show how this progresses over the next couple of weeks, how I change things around, put my groove on it the way I want it and, and show what's cool about it. Come on in. All right. Um, so part of the deal here is uh, I've got half of the saddle house and my half starts there-ish, kind of right down this line here. And uh, what I've done here is I've just kind of, I don't even actually have everything in here, but I just was bringing pick up loads at a time and putting it on the floor just to get it over here. It was raining and I don't have everything the way I want it. Today I was doing some groundwork on some colts and in between while they were kind of learning to be hobbled and stuff like that, I was putting stuff away. So I know me, I've known me my whole life. I will end up changing this about 500 times before I, before I get the way I want it. You can see there's still stuff strewn on the floor and this and that. Um, and like I said, I don't even have everything moved over yet, but here's kind of the, the basic premises, how I'll, I'll set it up. Right in here, I'll have like California style, Vaquero style bits. I've kind of got them separated for the most part. Spade bits, ring bits, leverage bits. Uh, then from there, I've got kind of starting my Tejano style bits, you know, or, or more uh, Midwestern Texas style bits. This is a stack of, of bits that I let Colts hold. These, I call these, call these dummy bits. You notice most, most of them are kind of spades. I talk a lot about um, getting some mission in a horse's mouth and, and from holding those, those spades. They learn that. Check out Patreon. I talk about the submission in the horse's mouth and the use of the spade to do it. You notice these are all kind of crude looking spades. I don't want to use the good ones with the silver, but they, they serve the purpose. Uh, these are all all just leverage bits to about here. You know, I've got a I've got a 27 just like everybody else in the world has. Hey, there's a bit that doesn't belong there. I'll have to change that out. Um, got my my two correction bits only two I've got and I don't use them very much so they're kind of over here. This little corner this will be the the hidden corner of darkness. This is kind of like the joke about the the moped. You don't want your friends to see this here but uh, I've got some more of these gimmick bits. There's a there's a mechanical hackamore and a real long shank snaffle and this thing, I don't even know what this is. I've never even used it, but my brother used it on a ranch horse. He called no woe and, and kind of got away with it. I'm not even sure where that came from. But I've got some others and I'll stash them back in the corner there where they're hard to get to. So I, I have to make some real serious decisions to use them. Then this will be snaffles. Uh, there again, I've got this snaffle and one other are about the only ones I use. And then I've got this is a, a sharper snaffle to fix stuff. And this, I don't know if you can see it there as a dog bone. Those are about the only kind of gimmick snaffles I use. Um, so why have the rest of them? Well, once in a blue moon, this one right here, that one's a, a quarter inch shorter than all the rest of them. Once in a blue moon, I need it or want it. So there I've got it. Um, the daily driver's here, the other one will be here whenever I get around to it. I'll end up swapping these saddles all around. Um, these are kind of the only cowboy saddles I use anymore for, for days I do cowboy. 
but I'll probably kind of put them over on that end with spade bits because I'm riding broke horses when I'm when I'm doing that most of the time, hopefully. Uh, back here, this is not going to be the permanent home, but these are all the real male reins. And I try to keep them off bits and not not attached all the time. I've got some other some leather ones and some other ones floating around that I don't worry about. But the rawhide ones, I, I try to keep them hung. Um, I'm gonna find me another one of these grapples and, and hang it. And by the way, in the process of hanging these grapples, I literally stuck my hand in a bee's nest, which is right there. And thankfully those bees are cold enough that even the one that fell down my shirt didn't bite me. But yeah, they, this is not the permanent home for the rawhide reins, but that's where they're at for now. This is the Stack O Hackamores, uh, and believe it or not, there's lots more of them, but these are the ones that get used the most often. Um, that looks like just a random stack of Hackamores, but I could find the one I wanted in the dark. You, you know, you use a tool long enough and, and you just know where it is and you know which one it is. And so I've, I've while that looks real hodgepodge, they're actually hung there in the order that they're most likely to get used. Um, and I like these little grapple deals because you can, you can get through them pretty easy. Oh, yeah. It's, well, and even I've got half half a saddle house. Even if I had the whole saddle house, which would be that much more, um, that's not enough space, bridle space for all all the bridles and hackmores and and things I have. Um, so these grapples are nice because uh, cause you can hang a whole bunch of stuff of one kind of stuff all in one deal. I've got another one that I'll hang that I'll end up hanging the stuff that I use the most often on, um, the snaffle bit and the, and the bridles and the, the things that I use the very most often. Uh, but we'll get it. This, believe it or not, that's a McCarty that just hasn't been made into a McCarty yet, but that's three pounds of hair. Maybe this winter I'll get around to it. I've only been saying that for five years. So that's kind of our setup for now. That's where we're at. There's five or six more saddles need to come in, handful more bridles, handful more hackmores, two or three boxes of McCarty's. Um, oh yeah, at some point we're gonna we're gonna do some hang some of the kids' saddles off for rafters. So I'll show you how that works. That's a really good way to to um, to put a saddle up if you don't have enough racks or especially if you've got some serious mouse problems, which we don't in here, but if you do, it's a good way to hang saddles up. Um, and I'll explain when we get to that. The only kind of other thing here, this is a lot of stuff that goes in my box next to my round pin when I get to that. Um, what I thought was cool, is, and I commandeered one of the hooks off of the side that's not mine to, to put these various quirts that I use. And each of these has it. That's not a quirt, obviously. That's a twitch. But I couldn't find another place to put it. But each of these quirts, I've got a different reason for using them. And so I thought it'd be cool to hang it right next to the door here. There. You can see them a little better. Take the twitch out of there. Each of these has, has a different reason for, for getting used. And so I thought it'd be cool to have them right there by the door so when I'm... As I'm walking out the door, I can say this one here for, for that filly that doesn't want to untrack her hips. You know, this one's just to pop them around a little bit and get them to untrack the hips. Um, this one here for that horse that doesn't, or that needs the rattles, blah, 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 blah. So I set that there and uh, that's the introduction. That's, this was bare yesterday, so. We're, we're started.